What's up guys? Welcome back. My name is Luke. And this is some very rough, rough sawn white pine. I got this at a garage sale. Pretty rough. This is pretty rough. So what I want to do is see if I can build a table in one day. So, this is probably not the best wood for this, but it's good for practice. This stuff is so rough, I'm going to joint it and then run it through the, the planer with the helical carbide cutters, and then hopefully I won't get a bunch of tear out. There's all kinds of knots in this. Sometimes I get in a hurry and uh, try to go too fast or in some kind of a frantic, um, you know, scurry or something, and that's not a good idea in the wood shop you know and things go much better when you take your time you know stuff like that subscribe smash like okay let's go ahead and cut the wood first we're gonna cut and mill the wood I'm gonna, I kind of quickly jointed those, so I'm gonna let them, um, most of them are pretty straight, but I'm gonna let them sit for just a little bit because if it's gonna spring or bow, it usually happens pretty quick. Practice a little hand saw in here. time and the reason I'm doing this is because I've seen definitely in the past when I if you run everything at once you know it will usually spring and move a little bit so I think it's a good idea just to um, run them again and you can't just plane them again you really need to joint them okay I've let these sit for a little while <clears throat> <clears throat> while I sat and stared, stared at things, contemplated my life choices, you know. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and run these again, just because I want things straight. Straight and flat helps a lot and just makes a big difference. 
and then plane them again. And then I want to get this top, I want to get this uh, top glued up and then I'll work on the, the legs and the skirt, you know, the frame. because you get a much nicer joint. You get a much, much nicer joint. I got a bit of a hump. I have to check this for square. Again. There's a hump in the middle. Okay, well, 
this is uh, day three of the one day build <laughs> and uh, so I'm gonna I've got a, I've got the tops I decided I'm gonna make two of these and I cut these um, skirt boards um, about two and a quarter so but what I'm doing I wasn't exactly sure what size this was gonna be so I um, got a little bit of layout I think I'm coming in like an inch and a quarter and uh, so I've got the inch and a quarter reveal let me get a tape measure of course let's see yeah inch and a quarter so I've marked that out and I have lines so what I'm gonna do is use this I'm basically gonna mark out my layout super windy today 70 degrees and windy but what I'm gonna do is just um, mark this out right on my right on my piece and that way I'll be able to get exact measurements um, I'll be able to get measurements for my skirt board lengths and and then I can cut those and then also I'm gonna make some tenons I'm gonna make mortise and tenons so that's why I just need the length so I'll mark these out and then I'll have uh, long pieces and a short pieces and I will probably first cut the full length which is about 16 and a quarter right here so I'll cut those and then also have the shoulder the shoulder measurement so then I can um, mark that and cut the tenons and then I'll figure out where I'm gonna I'm probably gonna set these in either center them or just set them in so there's like a quarter inch reveal like I'm not real fast at this but the more the more you do this kind of thing you know the quicker quicker you can get at it and um, be good practice for like a larger table Cut these at 23 and a quarter. It's just going to be a their end table, so they're small. They're basically two foot. I looked it up. You can go anywhere from 18 to 24, 25, something like that. So I have this other one here in the shop, so I decided just to go to, um, you know, 24, roughly. So. We'll go ahead and cut these real quick. Got a stop set up. And then I'm going to do the tenons. And those should be pretty quick. And then um, the mortises. And then a taper. And then I can hopefully get something assembled. got this uh, roughly set up 
I decided instead of centering it, I'm just gonna have a, like a quarter inch reveal on the front. So I'll have to orient the legs like that. I could center it, but that'll cause a little more, it'll make me uh, think about my layout a little more. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just uh, do one of these because just, as, just to uh, size my tenon, so. already unplugged. I have to use an extension cord for some other tool. So. What I had before, 0.7, doesn't matter that much. I'm going to use the shoulder line and then just take off the material. So, set that up like this. And the outside, I lost my markings there. Okay, put that on there. And a lot of times you can't really use this. Might be able to, but basically just put the nut on there. Get that tightened up. Um, doesn't have to be real tight, but you know, snug, good. That should be fine. Put the cover back on and then as usual I'll probably I'll have to uh, um, put my pieces on other pieces because it's not you know I can't lower this down that much. I have to uh, set it on blocks. So I'm actually going to raise that up. But I'll start higher and then, and then, uh, you know, you start bigger and then all you got to do is bump it down and get the right fit. So, but I could roughly mark this, mark this right here just to show me where I'm at. And then I should be able to, um, not taking much off of these. For right now, I'm going to size the, I'm just going to size the tenon so it fits here. Raise it up just a touch so that it's a little bit strong. That's a good fit, but I, uh, if you clean these up, it might be a hair loose. So try, uh, try again. Try this real quick just to make sure it's right. Instead of uh, trying to figure out too much stuff or, or mark out the shoulder length, all I have to do is, uh, you know, these legs are an inch and a half, so all I got to do is cut the tenons, set up a stop block, and cut the tenons at an inch and a half back, which will make the correct shoulder line. So I can cut all those, and then all I got to do is... Uh, 
you know, I can cut the depth of my, all I got to do is lay out the legs then and cut this, um, this mortise. And then I'll end up uh, just cutting 45s on the, I mean, you could just stop back here too and straight cut them. Um, but, you know, it's going to be plenty strong. It's pretty, pretty strong already just from, you can just, even this small thing, once that's glued up, it's going to be plenty, pretty good, so. And I don't want to get in a hurry here. Still got to be very careful using this saw because, you know, it's like one, one wrong move or one, you just got to be super careful because this is just um, a lot of blade, but you do it right and cut like last time I was cutting it caught a knot and it diff it did want to jut forward cut all these and then uh, move on to the next step a lot of different steps going on here but that was a mistake I measured on the wrong side of the blade measured on this side of the blade I should have measured off the other side inch and a half so now I need another one of those pieces which luckily I have one extra come to a stop and then reset. I've got this, uh, I went ahead and laid out the legs and then I marked uh, where these rails are going and then I've cut or I uh, got this set at two and seven eighths so the rails are two inches so just a little bit less I'll cut a little bit off the bottom so there's no so the shoulder so you won't see that but not a big deal but this has this offset, so when I cut this, it has a quarter inch reveal on the outside. So it's just a bunch of setting up, but this will be the outside. You know, that's the reveal. So, but I can only cut half of them this way, and then I'll have to set my block on the other side and uh, cut them that way. So go ahead and cut these and since this is set up all I have to do is know where I want to cut so go ahead and cut these and then we'll switch it oh that's weird oh what the heck it's running backwards that's kind of strange Switch this stuff.
I've got all those. Alright. This thing on? Okay. I got all those cut and just doing a quick, quick little cleanup. Make sure everything's gonna fit. Nothing major. This pine will kind of crush, crush in, but there's some edges here. So, not too bad. Um, so let's see. I'm gonna have to cut. I'm gonna have to cut my tenons uh, to length, and then. And I got a setup where I could just, I can miter them, and I think it's uh, one inch or something like that. Might as well use the little bit more than an inch, just over an inch. Anyway, uh, maybe make it, make it an inch. Give yourself a little tolerance. So uh, this project has showed me just how much I don't know all this but this is good good practice um, let's see so I'll clean those up a little bit there's like this inside edge kind of just breaks away not too much pretty pretty decent cut um, so then draw a triangle on these so yeah a lot of processes here just for these little end tables I started this I started this out thinking that I was going to do some kind of quick build table this seems to happen every time quick build you know, sell them for 150 bucks, whatever. It's like, geez, by the time you do it, you'd have to set up, you have to set up for production and run a whole bunch or have a bunch of parts, you know. But once you get it figured out, you can make, you can make a whole bunch of parts, um, you know, and run them. But even running them takes some time. So that's the trick, to find things quick processes and things that work uh, that's what I'm doing finding out that mm -hmm. but this is good practice for if you do a big table I think more like bigger tables 